proceed to Congresswoman Kathy Manning of North Carolina. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Welcome back to my good friend, Dean Phillips. And thank you, Assistant Secretary Liu, for your service to our country. I want to focus on the plight of women in Pakistan for a few minutes. I am very concerned about the treatment of women in Pakistan, including female journalists and women harassed and, erect, and arrested at protests and rallies leading up to the election. As you, as you know, Pakistan is routinely rated near the bottom of the world in terms of women's inclusion, justice, safety, and security. So can you talk to us about how the State Department is working to address gender-based violence and highlight and improve the safety, the rights, the inclusion, and representation of women in Pakistan's democracy? Representative Manning, such an important question. I wish I had my wife here sitting next to me. I met my wife in Pakistan. She was an American refugee worker working with Afghans, but her um, her academic subject matter uh, of specialty is gender-based violence, and she has worked in Pakistan on this very issue. What I would say about Pakistan, its human rights, um, the rights of women, I, I say about many countries, but I, I really mean it, which is we as foreign partners aren't going to be able to change Pakistan. Who will change Pakistan? Pakistani people will. And we see that very strong desire of women across Pakistan to be heard, to be represented, and to have their rights respected by the institutions of government as well as by the rest of society. I see great victories in Pakistan every day. Um, there have, as I mentioned, double the number of women elected to this parliament. And do you Incredible. see do you see that as a as a positive? Um, moment that will actually give hope and perhaps achieve new things for women in Pakistan? I see the emergence of female leaders in Pakistan at every level as being the examples that will lead their society forward. You, you are entirely right. At the village level in Pakistan, lives for women are incredibly dif difficult. I see more women today in senior positions in business. I see them on the high court. I see them in parliament. I see them as ministers. Uh, honestly, some days Pakistanis are doing better than Americans on some of these questions. It is a struggle for all of us, but I do credit the very brave women and young girls who are leading this path uh, in Pakistan. And I think as foreign partners, we need to put our resources, our public statements, and our activism behind Pakistani female leaders. And can you give us some idea of the percentage of participation of Pakistani women in the economy? And are there hurdles to greater participation? And is there anything we can do to encourage greater participation? Well, one of the real issues for every business in Pakistan, but particularly for women-owned businesses, is access to financing. And so one of the things that I've seen over the course of my career, uh, and, and particularly in Pakistan, is the emergence of these microfinance projects. Because largely, women-owned interest uh, businesses are not the massive textile mills or the steel plants. They're small businesses. They're businesses run out of homes or small shops in local communities. If women have access to that financing, women will succeed in business, USAID, the EU, the United Kingdom, Japan, Australia, many, many of Pakistan's donor friends are investing in those types of businesses, while the PRC and other countries are investing in literally roads to nowhere that bleed the Pakistani people of their resources year after year. So we've certainly talked about giving women access to more uh, financial opportunities in this committee. I hope we will continue to do that in the future. Because you've mentioned China, let me walk into this question with the little time I have left. Um, Pakistan faces a, a, a grave challenge, has faced grave challenges in recent years from flooding, from indebtedness to creditors like China. Um, what more can we do um, to counterbalance what China is doing um, and the debt that they're helping create in Pakistan? We can compete. Where we fail overseas, we are not present. Where we compete, we always win because we have a better offer. We offer 
private sector-led investment for profit-making enterprises that benefit local people and not just the lender countries. Thank you. My time has expired. I yield back.